So here we need to find out the rate percent when principal, simple interest and time are given. Okay, the formula is simple. So from the simple interest formula only we can make this. So directly I am writing formula. So rate of rate percent that R is equals to 100 into simple interest by P into T that is principal into time. Okay, this also we can write from the only simple interest formula. Nothing is new different here. R is equal to 100 into simple interest by principal into time. Now let us see uh, some problems here. At what rate percent at what rate percent per annum because you need to find out the rate percent so at what rate percent per annum will rupees 1620 amount to rupees 1962 in 3 years 2 months okay. at what rate percent only the principal will become amount so principal is uh, 1620 and amount is 1962 the time is also mentioned that is 3 years 2 months so we need to find out the rate percent Okay, here the given data if you write first principal that is P is equal to 1620 and amount is equal to rupees 1962. So if you know principal and amount we can find out the simple interest. Okay, simple interest formula is A minus P. That is amount minus principal. That is 1962 minus 1620. Now both if you subtract, we will get the simple interest. That is 342. 342 is a simple interest. Again, time is also given. 3 years, 2 months. 3 years and 2 months. So we need to convert into years everything. That is 3 years. 2 months is 2 by 12. That is 3, 1 by 6. So we can cancel 3, uh, 2 ones are 2, 6. Uh. 3, 1 by 6 years. 6 to 18 plus 1, 19 by 6 years. In fractions. Now we can find out the rate percent. So therefore, rate is equals to 100 into simple interest by P into T. So principal into time. Now substituting of all these values, simple interest is uh, 342 by principal is uh, 1620. And time is 19 by 6. So 19 by 6 if you take to numerator it will be reciprocal. That is 100 into 342 by 1620. The 19 by 6 you can write 6 by 19. Now this is a percent per annum. So we have to simplify this. So cancellations if you doing this cancelling two table to find the ten eighty one again three table three two is a six six twenty one seven 
then 5 into 10 into 3 followed by 27 into 19. So you can go for cancellations, finally get 3 table, still you can do some cancellations here also, 3 table cancel, 3 9 so 27, 14, 10, So, and this is 9, this 3 is again 19 table also you can cancel in this together, you get 2, directly, so after cancellations you can multiply and do division directly, so otherwise 5 to the 10 to the 20 by 3%, so 20 by 3, that is if you write in mixed fraction, 6 2 by 3%, Per annum. So rate of interest is nothing but per annum. Hence the required rate is 62 by 3 percent per annum. Let me see one more question. If the data is given like this, simple interest on a certain sum. Interest on a Certain sum is 4 by 9 of the sum. The simple interest on a certain sum is 4 by 9 of the sum. Percentage. Fine. The rate percent and the time. If both are numerically equal okay so this is the information the question simple interest on a certain sum is 4 by 9 of the sum so we can take let the sum be x there is nothing but principal okay let sum bx always let the principal is equals to I'm taking some x then the simple interest is 4 by 9 of the sum that means 4x by 9 is a simple interest let rate be r percent per annum and time be also r because numerically equal okay, time and rate percent and let rate is equals to r percent and time is r years because numerically equal because rate percent if it is 8 percent means time is 8 years 6 percent means 6 years so numerically both are equal so this is the given data in this problem up here now simple interest formula will apply then simple interest formula p t r by 100 okay principal rate of interest time by 100 so by substituting in this simple interest is a 4x by 9 that is equals to x into principal is x r and r because both are r by 100 so now we need to cancel this x x and get cancel both sides x x get cancel so here is 4 by 9 is equal to r square r into r is r square by 100 Now from this r square is equals to 4 by 9 into 100. This you can write 400 by 9. So 400 by 9 is nothing but 20 by 3 whole square. 
so r square is 20 by 3 whole square then r is equals to 20 by 3 so from this r is equals to 20 by 3 so 20 by 3 is 6 2 by 3 so rate of interest is 6 2 by 3 percent at the same time time is equal to 6 2 by 3 years and time is also same 6 2 by 3 years okay that is 6 years 2 by 3 that is 8 months because 8 months is nothing but 8 by 12 that is 2 by 3 so 6 years 8 months is the time so when numerically equal we can solve in this hence rate is equal to 6 2 by 3 percent per annum and time is 6 years 8 months and now we'll see how to find out the principal when rate time simple interest are given also we'll see now 